We are rolling. What's up, guys? Dave Mate. And we also have the feet, I don't know if you can see it, of Mateo in the background. Drinking some Cruz de Malta. Salute. Last time I was watching this documentary called, called uh, DMT, The Spirit Molecule. If you guys are into hallucinogenics, things like that, you should definitely check out this documentary. It's on Netflix right now, but I'm sure you could rip it. When I drink mate, <laughs> Mateo. When I drink mate, man, all I could think of was medicine. Lately, I've been thinking about mate as medicine. It is medicine. When I give it to people, I think of, hey, man, I'm administering medicine. I'm giving somebody something that's going to help them in some way, somehow, whether it be physiological, psycho uh, psychological, perhaps even spiritual. So when you drink mate, you're drinking medicine as well. When you share mate, you're administering medicine as well, sort of in a shamanistic sense, even. I was uh, talking to a tea enthusiast, actually a tea expert the other day, here on Long Island. And uh, she was a connoisseur of tea. And, you know, I kind of played dumb a little bit. I was like, do you know about mate? She's like, oh yeah, of course, I know about mate. And, you know, just seeing what she knew about it. And she was like, yeah, mate, you know, you want to roast it, you want to add all these herbs to it, and this and that. I'm like, whoa, okay. You know, uh, it was interesting to hear that. And then I asked her about matein to see what she knew about it. She's like, yeah, mate doesn't have caffeine. It has matein in it, which is another molecule, another uh, alkaloid, which she believes exists. Uh, so here we have a tea expert uh, telling people that caffeine is not in mate. There's something else called matein. But uh, I had to correct her uh, and share with her what my research has showed me, and there's my research has showed me that there's absolutely no such thing as matein. There is caffeine in mate, but not matein. M-A-T-E-I-N-E, matein. A lot of mate companies have traditionally, over the past several decades, uh, promoted this substance called matein to say, oh, mate is magical and special, which it is magical and special. But it has a certain chemical in it called matein. It doesn't have caffeine in it, so you better drink it. No, science has, has proven it wrong. Uh, there is no such thing as matein. I think a lot of it also, the confusion comes down to uh, what we call certain chemicals. So a lot of companies, for instance, Tatagui, I recently contacted Tatagui, which is a, one of the major uh, mate companies in the world. It's actually part of a conglomeration uh, that's, that owns probably 85% of all the mate market, in Argentina at least. And I said, does matein exist? And they wrote me back, and they're like, yeah, it exists. I was like, wait a minute. But you're saying that matein is different from caffeine? They wrote me back, yeah, it is. And then I said, no, I wrote them back, and I said, no, no, it's not. Uh, matein has, you know, been proven not to exist. And they wrote me back, they were like, oh, yeah, what we call matein is caffeine. So I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, they sort of contradicted themselves, but perhaps they didn't intend to do that. They were just thinking that what we call caffeine, they call matein. This all kind of started with this Dr. Mowry, uh, Daniel Mowry, who started publishing that Matian exists uh, several years ago, perhaps several uh, decades ago. I don't know the exact date. This might have been in the 80s, actually. And he was getting a lot of his information, so he says, from a doctor, uh, I think his name is Jose Martin, who I believe was working at Paraguay at the time. And he was citing this scientist, saying, yeah, this scientist says that it exists. But later on, this Dr. Martin was contacted by several sources to ask and to confirm if Martin exists, and he said, no, absolutely not. Uh, caffeine, 
does not have a stereo center. Now, I'm not a chemist, so I'm going to try to explain this, but you have some certain molecules that are called stereoisomers, which basically entail that they could transform into another molecule simply by changing their three-dimensional positioning. So you could have caffeine, which has its own molecular structure, but then rearrange it and it becomes something entirely different. Uh, in order for that stereoisomer to transform, or transform's not even the right way, but let's say transfigure, uh, it needs to have something called the stereocenter. The stereocenter is a grouping of atoms that allows any other grouping of atoms to interchange and become an entirely different molecular structure. But that molecular structure has all the same ingredients, all the same atoms, it's just three-dimensionally uh, repositioned. The thing about caffeine is that it has no stereocenter. It has no groupings of atoms that can interchange with other groupings to become another molecular structure. So that totally debunks anybody's science or pseudoscience saying that mateine is a, is a stereoisomer or an isomer of caffeine because caffeine doesn't have a stereocenter. It doesn't have the groupings to, 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 to transfigure or to transform into uh, mateine. So that's a scientific fact. Caffeine does not have a stereocenter. If it doesn't have a stereocenter, it can't turn into mateine. So, if you do your own research, and I'll put some research below this video, you'll see that Mateen doesn't exist. It's been debunked. Uh, perhaps it was used as a marketing tool to get people to drink Mate, but it doesn't exist. Mateen does not exist. Now, what does exist are the, is the unique chemical cocktail, which I've spoken about for the past two and a half, three years, of caffeine, theophylline, and theobromine which are uniquely uh, contained in mate, which results to a large degree a part of mate's uh, euphoric feelings, mate's soothing feelings of, a neuro, neuro, of the uh, nervous system. And my theory is, is that those three unique chemicals, combined with the abundance of minerals, vitamins, proteins, uh, flavonoids, and endless other great minerals and nutrients that are in mate, some of which we probably haven't even discovered yet, account for mate's ability to work on the autonomic nervous system. What that basically means is that mate balances your system. It cannot be described as a drug. It cannot be classified as a drug because a drug does what? It either stimulates you or depresses you. That's what a drug is. Mate does neither. It actually does both simultaneously whatever needs to be done. Uh, it works on the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, as does cannabis sativa. So as far as my research, my own personal subjective research, and the objective research I've been studying, dare I say, mate and cannabis are closely related in their uh, effects on the nervous system. As far as my research has told me, there's those two plants are in a class of their own. They're not drugs. They could be classified as, if you want to classify them as anything scientific, you could classify them as euphorians. It's a feeling of euphoria when you drink these things or, you know, consume cannabis. This is not a video about cannabis. I'm just trying to compare and contrast a little bit. Uh... Now, to go back to this whole mate and caffeine, caffeine thing, mate absolutely has caffeine. So does coffee, obviously. Coffee has about 85 milligrams of, of caffeine per cup, and mate has a little bit less. It has about 75 to 78 milligrams per cup, or, oh yeah, about per cup. Now, a lot of times people ask, oh, well, there's caffeine in mate, so I can't drink it. Caffeine's not good for me. It, 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 it uh, stimulates me in a way where it, it burns out my nerves. It keeps me awake. Well, 
I don't even think that you can compare the caffeine in coffee and the caffeine in mate. Why is this? Because you could do a simple, simple ex experiment that will prove to you, to yourself, finally, that the caffeine works differently in mate than it does in coffee. And that makes sense because if you take one thing and isolate it, one alkaloid and isolate it and concentrate it, then it becomes something entirely different than if you were to leave it in the environment with the other hundreds of chemicals, other hundreds of minerals, other hundreds of compounds and atoms in its natural state. So you can't compare the caffeine that's in coffee to the caffeine in anything else, let alone mate. Now, this is the simple experiment to prove the difference. Drink a cup of coffee. Okay, you're gonna feel that rush in cognition. 15 minutes, boom. You're gonna have that rush for 15 minutes. Your memory's gonna be boosted. Your heart rate will be increased. Your awareness will be increased. Your sensitivity uh, will be increased. You know, caffeine does this. It's been proven to you know, have a cognitive boost for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then you got a down climb. Uh, it, uh, it declines. Do that. You know, drink 10 cups of coffee, and you'll see that after those 10 cups of coffee, you're totally wired. You're just totally beat up. You're, you're, you've overexcited your, your nerves. You've literally overexcited your nerves to the point where they're exhausted, to the point where you're exhausted, to the point where your mind has been racing like a roller coaster up and down after 10 cups. So let's say after those 10 cups, or let's just say, no, not 10 cups. Let's say after three or four cups, you're going to feel like that. Now, how could you compare that to mate? Because mate, you're not drinking it by the cup. You're drinking it by this gourd, and you're drinking it in rapid succession. So conceivably, you could be ingesting upwards of a thousand milligrams of, of caffeine every single time you drink a round of mate. A thousand milligrams. So you, you've ingested a thousand milligrams of caffeine after, I don't know, 30 minutes of drinking uh, of mate, and how do you feel? How do you feel after drinking 10 or 15 of these? You don't feel crazy, you feel good. You feel smooth, smooth as butter, you feel clear, you feel euphoric, your body is uh, in a state of calm, repose, and ease. You're able to do work. Your, nerv your nerves have not been overexcited. That's the experiment. Drink 10, 15, 20 mates out of a standard size gourd, and you will conceivably have ingested a thousand, let's say at least a thousand milligrams of caffeine. Now do the same experiment with coffee. After a thousand milligrams of caffeine and coffee, you're gonna be fried, you're gonna be wired, you're gonna be like, Jesus goddamn. I just feel like garbage. I gotta go take a nap. I can't even take a nap. I'm just fried. I can't do anything. I can't work. I can't get up. Uh, this is disgusting. I just ingested a thousand milligrams of caffeine from coffee. That's the simple ex experiment. And I hate to say it, but I think I have to. Uh, these scientists haven't drawn this very simple conclusion yet. I haven't read it. I'm not trying to say, oh, well, I've figured it out, but maybe I have figured it out. I don't know. It, it would appear that I have. How could you compare cup to cup the caffeine and coffee and the caffeine and mate? You cannot do that. I don't know what sort of science that is. You can't do that. It's very obvious to me, as a mate drinker and someone who appreciates science, uh, that the caffeine simply works differently in mate than it does in, in coffee. And the experiment is to do a thousand milligrams of, of, of caffeine in coffee, see how you feel, and to do a thousand milligrams of, of caffeine in mate after drinking 10 to 15 uh, gourds, you're going to get at least a thousand milligrams, I would say. And you're going to feel like butter. You're going to feel smooth. So, why does this happen? I don't know yet. Like I said, my theory is, is that the caffeine is combined and coupled. Uh, well, I don't want to use the word coupled, but it, let's just say it's mixed with other great chemicals, molecules, and nutrients and vitamins that are a part of mate, that are not a part of, caffeine, of, of coffee. The coffee just doesn't have those things. 
So uh, therein lies the intelligence of Mate. Therein lies, as I spoke about in the premise of this video, Mate's ability to act as a medicine. Uh, Mate is medicine, you know. It is the it's the plant of the of the nation. You know, it's the plant of the world. You know, Mate has more nutrients, more vital chemicals, more life in it in concentration than any other plant known to man. Of course this is the plant of, 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 of the world. At least any plant that we could drink. And what's also interesting about the fact that we drink mate is that if you look at the, the name of the family, mate comes from the holly family. The holly family is aquifoliaceae. Split that word in two. Aqua means water, foliaceae means fo foliage. Or leaves. So in common language that would mean water leaves or leaves of water. And it's no surprise that we drink mate in an infusion with water, aquafoliaceae. So it just makes sense. It makes sense to cut up this plant, to mix it with water, to infuse it, and to drink it, and to get all the great benefits from it. And I just wanted to get this video out here, out there, and talk about mate, and uh, talk about the caffeine and the mate and debate. Do your own research. Don't you know? Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. I'll, I'll put some research below in the link, so you could read what I research myself, and you'll see that that mate simply doesn't exist. Uh, it comes down to a mixture of marketing, promoting mate, probably some harmless promotion from companies. And it comes from a, a factor of ignorance. People just really thought that it existed, which it doesn't. And it also comes from a vocabulary or, or a, a language barrier where people are simply using matein to describe caffeine. So I hope that the, the debate is cleared and uh, people who are interested in mate can now tell people with confidence that matein does not exist. Uh, and if it does, please uh, show me some evidence. Show me some uh, hard research and, and experiments that can prove that caffeine has a stereo center, which will enable it to become a stereo isomer and transfigure into into matein. If someone could produce that information, that'd be great. It, it would educate me uh, and it would debunk what my belief is now that matein does not exist. This is Dave Mate, enjoying, well, to be honest, I'm not really enjoying the summer. I am, but I'm not enjoying the weather too much. This time of year in Long Island, it's real muggy. It's real muggy, I won't lie, it's real humid. And I'm looking forward to the winter. I'm looking forward to uh, some cold, good old-fashioned cold weather. Salud.